was an incredibly steep learning curve. Uh, every day was like a masterclass. I think the message that the show is carrying is really important. I think it's uh, a really good time to talk about it. And I also was intoxicated by the challenge. I read the original, the original like beat sheet and it blew me away and I was terrified. And for me, as someone that loves a challenge, when I feel terrified, it feels like something I should give a go. Uh, give a go. Um, so I had, it, uh, I had to say yes. It was very challenging in a way that I wasn't expecting at all. It's also really like exciting to be the, the entry point for the, for the audience. The Crowded Room is a psychological thriller. Uh, it unfolds after a young man played by Tom Holland is arrested after a shooting in New York City in 1979. The story unfolds through a series of interviews with Amanda Seyfried's character as she's tasked with uncovering his mysterious past, part of which involves his childhood. I play his mom from when the time that he's eight until he grows up and ultimately the decisions that she makes and the mistakes that she makes lead to this terrible crime. Played a lot of bad guys. Um, and this one was uh, not your typical bad guy. And he was, uh, I hate saying three-dimensional, but Akiva gave him some dimension and then Cornell and even Tom uh, it was great because I got to give him some life, some um, dimension, and uh, you know I served the purpose of allowing Tom's character, Danny, to to heal. I connected to this character because I was in in the army, I was in the special forces. I know how to protect, and I know, and this is why, and the abilities of fighting, you can see it on the show as well. So I, I think everything together was amazing, and the writing is so good. These are the things that drew me to the project. Um, being able to, to work with Akiva, being able to work with my wife, Tom Holland, all these amazing actors, Emmy Ross and Chris Abbott, you know, it's just a never ending group of really extraordinary people. I played Johnny. He's kind of uh, the homie of Danny, who is not exactly the best influence. Like the way that kind of we joked about it on set was in high school, I think we all had that friend that just did a little more than we did that made us feel all right with what we were up to. So I think my job with Danny is just to kind of push the line so when he walks right up to it even though that is farther than it should be he doesn't feel so bad being there Akiva is so passionate so complex so rich so emotional so much energy. It was, I've worked with him before as an executive. I've never worked with him as a producer. And it was really the most exciting and invigorating because I had to keep up with him. Akiva is the crowded room, walking, breathing. There's so much going on in his head uh, all the time. So it was incredible. Mm -hmm.